Alberto State Governor Ifai Okowa says instead of vilifying the resolutions of the Southern Governors, leaders and stakeholders from other parts of the country should thank them and join hands in seeking to unite the country at this trying time. Governor Okowa, who spoke at an event in Asabad, Delta State Capital, restated the commitment of the governors in implementing the ban on open grazing, call for restructuring and the need to speak about issues at the highest levels to avoid conflict. Ikenna Amitri reports. After what is now referred to as the Asaba Accord, where governors from 17 southern states resolved to speak with one voice about current issues in the country that are threatening strain across the divide, reactions have come from all parts of the country, with those from the north condemning the action of the governors. At this event in Asaba, Governor Okoa restates the stance of the governors while calling on dissenting voices to join ranks with them against insecurity. The conversations are obviously needed because if we do not talk, our allow the voices of our people to continue to speak and the leadership shines away, then we are giving room for even further crisis. So I thought that it was time for other presidents, other leaders across the country to thank the southern governors for uniting to give a voice to the conversations because it is only when these conversations come in at that level and it is driven in the interest of the larger majority of the people that we can have a truly united nation in which there is fairness on the ban on open grazing, Governor Okowa wants the federal government to activate abandoned ranches and commit funds to building new ones. There have been several, several grazing reserves that have been abandoned. Why were they abandoned? We have asked that the federal government even spent part of the national resource to help to start new primal schemes. But we, those of us in the South, do support that some federal resources be spent to start up some of these ranching or whatever you call it, grazing reserves, and put in necessary things in order to slow down and to eventually put a stop in years to come, little form of open grazing. And will we succeed him as governor come 2023? The governor says everyone should be cautious and look for the right person who will run the state with fairness, justice and equity. Ikedna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.